Hello. So, why am I doing Spelunky today? There's not really a reason. Spelunky 2 was announced probably a year ago now. And, uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been starved for news about it. And, uh, still no news about it. No updates. It, I, I, it's been confirmed for PS4, and we don't yet know what else. I'm very excited for it. Because Spelunky is one of my favorite PC games. Specifically, this is Spelunky HD. It is uh, based off of a freeware game. And there used to be a thing that I wanted to do called Spelunky Death Roulette. Where stream viewers could go on a website and uh, they could bet on how the streamer was going to die in these kinds of randomly generated games. It is no longer working. I looked into it and it uh, the website has gone down. I think a new version is being worked on, but it's not up yet, so I can't do that. So I just, I guess I'm just going to do some normal Spelunky. And also, this is a fairly old Steam game insofar as I have just now realized when you uninstall it, it also erases your save progress. But you know what, that's fine. Because it's not a game you really progress in. You just, you fill up the, the encyclopedia. And in fact, I've done exactly that on uh, previous streams of this. I've streamed this a lot over the... It's probably been a year or two since the last time I streamed it, but... Uh, I probably have like 20 streams of it. This is the first modern Spelunky stream. On this channel. And just because of that, because I probably have some new people watching, I'll... Uh, do my best to explain the game a little bit as I'm going. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at multitasking. I want to do the right bumper, that's what I'd like to do. I don't like using triggers. I know, I'm, I'm strange. That's not so good. It's not a good early sign. This is, just, this is just tutorial, so I don't really need to worry about this. I think it's mandatory that I do it, so... Uh, just kind of hurry through this so I can get to the actual game portion. Uh, Spelunky is a roguelike. It's a 2D platforming roguelike, which is the main draw for me. A lot of the games I enjoy tend to be, you know, various genres crossed with 2D platforming. Smash, the 2D platforming fighting game. Awesome Knots, the 2D platforming MOBA. And so this is a little, a little platforming game that randomly generates levels. You get a random seed, and you go down, as you tend to do in platforming games. I walk by some ropes? There they are. No? Hmm. It is notoriously difficult, Spelunky. I don't mind it. I grew up with NES hard. I thought it was strange when I learned people thought Crash Bandicoot was difficult.
and the goal is to get through four worlds of four levels each, 16 levels total, to get to the bottom of the bottom of the, of the cave. It's caves, jungle, ice caves, and temple. And beyond that, new to the HD version, not in the freeware version, is uh, hell. If you meet all these special conditions, if you really know the game in and out, then there is a secret fifth world. And it's not that secret, the game's pretty old now. Players compete for uh, the gold is the score. There's a high score leaderboards. There's uh, people do speed runs. People do all sorts of weird specialized kinds of runs. There's a lot in the game to uh, discover. One big shortcoming is the lack of online multiplayer. There is there is co-op, there's couch co-op. But uh, I have long wished for online multiplayer Spelunky, and we are confirmed to be getting that in Spelunky 2. So now that that the tutorial was consistent, it's just a fixed generation thing. But we are now playing the actual game with a random seed. And I'm not gonna worry about the I'm not gonna worry about hell immediately. I'm just gonna do a normal run to try to uh, I guess warm up, introduce new people to the game. If you happen to be watching this. Hello new people. You should check out Spelunky, and Spelunky too. So I'll do a normal, a normal run. I'll even buy for things instead of robbing the shopkeeper. I don't want to buy a shoe. Nah, I don't need that. And then after that, I'll, I'll go for a hell run. I'll, I'll start doing them. I say go for a hell run as if it'll just happen. It's... it's fairly difficult. Don't expect to see hell this stream. Well, we'll see. I've, I've cleared hell on stream before. I think that was the last, uh, the last stream I did of Spelunky. Nah. You can stay in there. You're not worth the bomb. People tend to drastically overestimate how important health is in this game because there's so much so much in the game that just kills you in one hit regardless and if you're doing a hell run there's a point in the game where you're going to lose all your health regardless bombs are much much more valuable for the most part I mean I guess if you see a damsel you can save her then you know go ahead be a hero but don't waste all your shit going for it I get down there later. I guess it doesn't matter that much that uh, that key is something related to hell. I can also uh, th there are uh, shortcuts that you can unlock by clearing certain conditions. So uh, I, guess I can do that. on my way down. Oh, that was a mistake. All right, time to gamble. Gambling is always worth it. Life lesson. See? Always worth it. This mostly just costs time because you have do you have better chances to win than not. So I'm just 
let's do this until uh, until the ghost shows up. At two minutes and thirty seconds, a ghost will show up on every level to make sure that you're not a you know mucking around too much, and it also can save you from uh, soft locking. I guess there's a you can pause and hit end adventure. To uh, just audit, there's a kill yourself command. But otherwise, it's possible to get stuck somewhere, and then the the only way is to either end your end yourself or let the ghost get you. I wonder what kind of score you could grind. If you stayed on this long enough. Er, hello, Mr. Ghost. You look especially horrifying today. Give me my money. I didn't get any money. Alright. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh, get out of here, Scorpion. Uh-oh! Well, that was dumb of me. And I'm not gonna have time to get that stuff up there. That's okay. I don't need it that badly. The important thing is I gambled. Despite all the stuff there is to learn about, there's not as much as, say, Isaac, and I think it tends to be a little bit more clear what the things do than in Isaac, where you're really not given anything. You're pretty much... I... I got sick of having to have the wiki open at all times for Isaac. Which I could see the argument being made for this game, too. I'm sure some people have to do that. Not everything is terribly obvious, especially if some some things have, uh, like, extra functions. But there's definitely less stuff. And also you have the nice little, you have the little journal that tells you all, all the little things you can get. You, you can collect little, little things to fill up the journal. Coat your bombs with this and they'll stick to pretty much anything. I wish Isaac had that. I would have liked Isaac more if it had that. Had a little journal to collect things in, tell you what they all do. Probably stand go a little bit faster, but that's okay. I'm just playing a wee bit of a little, uh, little chill spelunky. Can you give? Sure, you can have a bomb. Oh, I'm low on bombs. I need more bombs. My throat is dry today. I had falafel for lunch. First time I've had it in long enough that I forgot what falafel was. So welcome to World 2, the jungle. Get me a boomerang. I'll take it. Oh. There are many dangerous things in the jungle. And I just got killed by one. Yang was right. The layout of the caves is changing all the time. First death notification. Future site of the shortcut station. Meet me at the end of the mines if you want to help. So I need to get the tunnel man's requests fulfilled three times in order to unlock a shortcut to an area. Which is nice for brand new players who are struggling to get to just the end of the basic game. But, uh, if you use one of the shortcuts, that invalidates your high score 
because, you know, it's treated like a roguelike. You have to start from the beginning and uh, do the whole random seed. When I do the when I do the hell run, I'll probably do the uh, the daily challenge. That's a feature. Is uh, I think that's fairly common in these kinds of games. Is that there's a daily generated seed that everybody gets, and they can all compete against each other for score on that same seed. Nah, you can stay over there. I like my bombs. pots that you're standing on, because they can have snakes and spiders inside. Uh, what do you got? You got bombs? I can't quite afford them. I would like that big thing of bombs, that would be nice. Maybe I can uh, wrangle up some extra cash real quick. Oh, Mr. Spider. There's my extra cash. Also a thing up there, but I don't have sticky bombs, so. How much are sticky? 3,000. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get the box. And then, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something a little bit risky. We're gonna get dangerous. I missed. I wanted to cook the bomb and throw it up with just the right timing. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at that. And I can try it again, but I don't really want to spend two bombs just to get one crate. Come on. Go on down. Damsels make excellent projectiles. You know what? I can... Controls. Settings. Hey, let's add all the damsels. I do have... This is one of the games on Steam that I have all the achievements for, so... I have done everything there is to do in this game, really. Aside from the super specialized runs that the game doesn't track, good, doesn't track, just personalized challenges if you want to undertake them, like an eggplant run. I'll bet you're wondering what that is if you don't know what this game is. I don't think I ever want to do an eggplant run. Maybe we'll see. I had such a good thing going with that lottery last run. I just got eaten in the jungle. Hello, Mr. Sexy Damsel. Damn it! Alright, I need a skull. That'll do it. Skulls and bombs. Pot! Pot'll do it! No? Oh, okay. Mind me, just rushing through all this, and that's not a lot of stuff I want. Hmm, well. There we go. Shit. It, it worked out. Miracles happen. I'm probably, I'm probably exploring too much. If I'm just going to Olmec, I don't need to, uh... I don't need to get every little thing. If you're doing a hell run, it's important to explore every nook and cranny. So that you don't miss any of the key items required for hell. 
Ah! Sorry, damsel. Had to happen. I see something else that needs to happen. Hello, Mr. Spider. You stay up there, and I'm gonna sacrifice her to Kali. Couldn't be helped. So as with most roguelikes, there are randomly generated structures that can appear in levels. That being an altar, which you can sacrifice things at. Any, any living thing, anything that can go unconscious and has blood, you can sacrifice at the altar for Kali points. They're not actually called that, but I'm going to call them that. Here, or have a roll. And if you rank up enough Kali points, you can get cool items. It's like the Nintendo Fan Club, but bloodier. Nintendo Fan Club, Club Nintendo, same thing. Lots of these tiki traps here in the jungle. Very dangerous, them tiki traps. See that piranha in the water? Gonna take care of him. So I can get Mr. Pug, who is totally fine breathing underwater. I could go to the worm if I wanted to. You know what? I'm gonna go to the worm. This is the worm. Say hello. The worm likes damsels. So if you see that pink fleshy thing and you throw a damsel in it, you get to, you get the privilege of visiting the worm's innards. Which is usually not advised. It's usually not necessarily a good thing to do. You get one cool item from it, but it's very high risk. It's very dangerous in here. Lots of potential instant death. Not a lot of treasure. Damn it. Fuck off, monkey. Okay, the monkey fucked off. You get nice fart music, though. There's not a whole lot of treasure. Tight corridors. I'm gonna blow up that frog, is my plan. Oh! Those things hurt. Lots of things hurt. And the worm? I don't like any of this. It's a very difficult place in the game. Get rid of the monkey. Okay, that's where I want to go. That pit right there. Fine. That's uh, wasting some bombs. There we go. I just wanted to blow up the bottom. And now I have a whip replacement the Chris Knife. A razor sharp blade fashioned from the tooth of a worm. This is the only whip replacement in the game. I wish the machete replaced your whip when you get it, because then it'd be a lot more useful than having to lug it around as a carry item. Sadly, that's not the function. And, uh... It is nice, however. The Chris Whip is... is the Chris Knife is very powerful. It one-shots everything in the game. It's just, you know, it's it's a whip replacement, so it has a limited range. Everything's coming to kill me. I'm down to two hearts. Very dangerous. The worm! One heart. 
generally not seen as worth the risk to do the worm. It's very, very high risk level. Bottom. Also, if you're doing a hell run, you can miss some of the stuff that you need. So, another good reason not to mess with the worm. That's a spike pit down there, so let's not go that way. I don't like the worm, it's scary. I want to free you. There's a guy in here. How do I get the guy out? Can I not free him with the whip? Or with the knife? Well, that's about as expected. Hello, Tyler. Guy is on the left. Well, the unlockable guy is in the green, the big green thing. Usually you just kind of bump into them and they pop open. I don't know if the Chris knife changed that or what the case was. Anyway, welcome. Planning on just doing a normal run before I attempt anything hell-related, just to show off the game a little bit. Make it a little bit quicker. Doing the worm was probably a mistake in that regard. Shop. Yeah, I'll take the climbing gloves. So, what is your experience with this game? I, from the sound of it, you've played it before. Have you played this game a ton? Uh, yes, I have perfected the achievements. I think I was at 167 hours on Steam. And I've streamed it a lot on this channel, but not, not for a while. It's been a year or two, so. I had come back wanting to do Spelunky Death Roulette, but sadly the site is down for that. And the creator is, I think, working on a new version? So that would be nice. I would like another, uh, I would like a working Death Roulette. I never got to try it. Yeah, even better if they have a uh, stream, uh, some kind of Twitch compatibility in Spelunky too. That'd be great. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not a PS4 exclusive, like even even timed, because uh, I believe this game, Spelunky HD, was PS3 was a timed PS3 exclusive for one year. some of those things. We haven't even gotten an announcement if it's going to be on any other platforms, though. I think it was just PS4 and... Did they say Xbox? Hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Scorpion. Get above me. Played it on Xbox Arcade back in the day. I think I originally had it on PS3. 
It has been a very long time. Probably should have hit me in the head. I'm kind of surprised it didn't. There's another snake pit. Ten thousand. Take my money, Mr. Tunnel Man. very crowded jungle levels, which is saying a lot for the jungle. I'd like to afford those bombs, but I'm not going to be able to. They're going to be like 12,000. 13,000. Oh well. I'm going to be nice and not mess with the shopkeepers for now. When I do a hell run, then I'll mess with the shopkeepers. Here we go. Oh, we got a water and undead level at the same time. Which I believe, if I remember right, can result in the... This results in a silver skull being underwater. Come on, Mr. Vampire Person. Where's the... Did I already miss the ash grave? It's somewhere. Unless the water overrode it. There it is. Oh, I'd like down there. And you know what? I have the means to get down there. Actually, why did I use bombs on the... On the, the grave? I'm a, I'm a dingus. Go get me a free shotgun. No shopkeeper aggro required. Uh, it's hmm. Well, I'd like to go down there, but that's another risky thing. I don't know how risky I want to be. Oh, hello, vampire man, come here. I want you to get, surrender your cape to me. I'm gonna get you up here, then I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Oh! Yeah, fly up here. That's better. Give me that cake. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put the shotgun right there. I'm gonna go get my thing. Certain death down there, yeah, probably. I'd like to get the, you know, the bitey rewards, but uh, it's very difficult. It's another high-risk maneuver. I could. I got a rope. I can go do the, the haunted castle. And again, I guess there's not a whole lot of reason to, given that uh, I have a shotgun. I'm not going to get the shield. It would just be to show it off on stream. And the ghost is already here. Fuck it. There's not a lot of good reason to do the haunted castle. I would argue it is probably the least worth it hidden level. At least the mothership. I think that's the only three: is the, the hid the castle, the worm, and the mothership. At least the mothership, you end up going back to the start of the level. You don't waste a level. 
Uh, no, Mr. Frog. I don't want you anywhere near that altar. Hello. I see a damsel. I'm probably worrying way too much about this. Given that I am not doing the doing the hell run. I can't I can't reliably get in there. Because I don't have sticky bombs. Well, shit. There's some good stuff in there I would like. Oh! There's some stuff over there I would like. But I also can't get over there easily. Hmm. This is not a lucky level. I could cook a bomb, but I'm not confident en enough in my timing. Here's some timing. Yeah, give me my boomerang back. Nice and safe, this run. I'm very low on bombs, though. I would like to change that. Hello, Darian. I'm just playing a little bit of Spelunky. Getting attacked by scary boomerang men. Come on, just a little fur. No, okay. What, you know, no, he's not getting away with this. Fuck that. Ah! Fuck you, Tiki Man. go. Nothing over there. Did you forget? Did I forget my shotgun? Did I leave in the last level? What did I do with my shotgun? I think I forgot my shotgun. How'd that happen? I must have set it down and forgot it. Rip! That's an awful thing to do. That's one of the best items in the game. I'd say second best after the jetpack. The jetpack is amazing. Hello there, tunnel man. Give it two bombs. Take them. Take all of my bombs. They're all I have. Hello, Mr. UFO. You're not gonna kill me. Well, you might if I boomerang you, cuz, uh... Oh, no! Well, that was an unfortunate series of events. I accidentally... Well, I, I pissed off the shopkeeper, so now I get his stuff. I have no bombs. This was not a bomb shop. I could teleport in there, but that'd be a very bad idea, so I'm not gonna do that. Teleporter and camera are not great items. Do I have the spiky shoes? I do. He did not drop a freeze ray. Hmm. Hello. Ah, oh, it's so dangerous to get these guys with the boomerang, because it can bring them back to you and blow up in your face. So I'm not gonna do that. As bad as uh, Jungle Worm is, I think Ice Worm is probably worse. Because that has UFOs in it. That Yeti's body could hit me and knock me out. So, the shopkeepers are now permanently mad at me for the rest of the run. Because I accidentally knocked an exploding UFO into his property. In traditional Takahashi miscommunication fashion. This is a grudge that will be carried all the way till the end of the manga. Hello, Mr. Idlehead. I'm sure you're not important.
I saw Keeper RL in the Discord thumbnail. Excuse me? The what now? Now you might think that's unobtainable. However, the cape is a magical thing. Damsel, there's the guarded exit, and there's a bottomless pit. I'm gonna need to knock you out, Mr. Yeti, and not knock myself out. Maybe the pot can do that. There we go. Yeti be gone. Pot. Uh, you. Well, I don't have sticky bombs, so I can drop a bomb down there, but there's still going to be a shopkeeper. Oh, no, I, I don't have any bombs to drop. All right. No, he didn't get hit? Hmm. Well, this is a predicament. So I have a Yeti corpse I can drop down there. And if I need to save my own butt, I could potentially drop a damsel. might actually even make it to the exit if he doesn't shoot her. Oh! Or I'll just jump down and get shot myself. I just, I missed the wall. You know what? Well, I came this far. I'm still going casual for the time being, so I might as well go to just straight to the jungle. I'll use the shortcut. That's a, that's a mean start to a run, forcing me to use a, a bomb or a bomb or a rope. Oh, this is another one of those populated jungle areas. Lots of things to kill me around here. Got my boomerang back. No. Monkey, bad. Vine's bad. I don't like these at all. There we go. That was not a that was not a nice first level. with a dude. I don't need dudes. Not unless they're naked and wrapped in a bow for me. No, you stay over there. You blow up so on something else. I, he I hear a sexy bow man. Somewhere in the level. Oh, there he is. And there's a spike pit I need to traverse to carry him to safety. I don't like that. That doesn't sound worth it for one piece of health. Nope. Let's just not cross that uh, spike pit again. Oh! I missed my boomerang. We're good. We're fine, and there's bees. And the plant is down there. It's gonna eat the frog, maybe. Eat the frog. Come on. Come on. Eat up, boy. There you go. Bees. That wasn't worth it. Well, maybe... Well, 
I get the health from the queen bee, it might be worth it now, but... She does not appear to be around here. Oh, this is a vertical beehive. And I don't have spike shoes. Come up here. Hey, come on. Nice and juicy. Come here. Playing dangerous with one health. She's not going to be stunned, is she? Well, she can't get me now. Unfortunately, I cannot easily get her either. down, B. This is so not worth it, but I'm doing it anyway. Dead. I knew that wasn't going to lead to anything positive. He's a Belmont. He is a lost Belmont. Just as Indiana Jones was, in fact, Indiana Belmont. Damn it. Oh! It stopped blowing up! Nah. I don't need, I don't need to take two damage immediately. Let's not do that. Oh, hello! Ooh, well, there's a guy. I also just took two damage immediately again. There we go, I unlocked the delivery boy. So this is a special structure type. The caveman village, or whatever it's called. That's okay, I unlocked a dude. I unlocked a character. Which I've unlocked previously, but when you uninstall and reinstall Spelunky, it deletes your save data, so. Not a lot of reason to uninstall it, to be honest. It's only, I think, like half a gig, if that. It's only a couple hundred megabytes. That poor caveman. Anything over here? That's a lot of stuff I don't want to mess with over there. Hello, monkey. Damn it. There we go. Get rid of the monkey. I don't really want to go across a pipe spike pit, so I won't. Until they make me go across the spike pit anyway, because my opinion doesn't matter. Fuck. Well, I can make that health back right here. Well, no, that's not. I, why did I think there was a damsel over here? I, I didn't want that boomerang anyway. I get this one. Ah! Frog from the sky. I thought, oh, this will be easy. I'll just hop on. I'll play some Spelunky. I'm good at it. I've got hundreds of hours. Let's do a quick, easy, easy Olmec run. Won't be a problem. If it's not a hell run, then it'll be a breeze. Dead. 
That's all it takes in this one game. You just gotta miss one jump. Should have done the quick restart. You know what? I'm gonna start doing hell runs. I might as well. If I'm just gonna die a bunch anyway, I might as well go for the gold. So now, I will be starting from the beginning. I will be robbing the shopkeepers, because that is generally better for gold, for score. And because it's actually, uh... It's hard to have. It's hard to be well equipped and have the required money to do a uh, no rob hell run. You need to buy an item for 50,000 and it can be very di it can be difficult to get that in time. So, for reals now. I, I was just messing around. All those previous times. They didn't count. Those weren't real deaths. Get whatever this is. Oh, we'll get some sticky bombs. I'll take them. Just jinxed it by saying that. And I make a point to always go through a level exit while holding something. Because it is entirely possible you can spawn in a new level where you are blocked by arrow traps and need something to throw at them. Which, yeah, bombs, but you don't want to waste a bomb on that. That'd be a bad idea. If you can avoid it. little bits of gold over here. Not really worth it, but I'll get them anyway. Come here, Mr. Mouse. Oh! Got a skeleton friend. He's not hurting anyone. He's gonna leave him alone. Now, this chest is something important for a hell run. This is one of the MacGuffins. God damn it. to find somewhere else on this level the key to this chest. Oh, and there it is. That's not too bad. Now this guy. I, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna rob the shit out of him. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna lure him friendlily here to the entrance where he won't get pissed off. He's gonna drop a happy little bomb. And that's that. Get the, get the key chest. I'm gonna get the damsel. And I'm not gonna forget the shotgun. I'm gonna bring it with me this time. be mad up there in your little vault. Can't wait to see how I whiff this run. Some of the things I was thinking about streaming were uh, attack, which I will probably do the GameCube version, even though I owned the PS2 version, because I've uh, been having some problems with some PS2 games in terms of performance. 
Dolphin is just better optimized, so. And as far as I could find online, there were not significant differences between the two versions. Shotgun is infinite ammo, which is why it is one of the best weapons in the game, or one of the best items in the game. It is the best weapon in the game. Uh, do I care about him? Not really. Sorry, Manzel. Fa! I dropped it instead of firing it. That was my karma for abandoning Manzel. Uh, so that guy has come out. Did he die? Because the music isn't playing. They all ran into spikes. Alright, that works for me. Hmm. I'm gonna take damage if I go that way. Fortunately, I have the climbing gloves. There's also a chest up there I would like. So let's get that. least valuable items in the game. There is a... basically a grenade launcher item. Technically it's called a plasma cannon, but it's functionally a... functionally a grenade launcher. It fires, uh... explosive bomb shots. However, because they are explosive bomb shots, it is very easy to kill yourself with said item. Also, it has crazy recoil. Which offers yet another way to kill yourself with said item. Hmm. He's gonna go aggro. There we go, that'll work. Get got. sticky bomb, so I can get that chest over there as well. Bombs have a radius of exactly two blocks. More rope. Great. Uh, do I want to save the dog friend? He's in a pit full of snakes, but snakes aren't as bad as they sound. kind of mine their own and spit. So I will save dog friend. Ah! I'm sorry, that was loud. I meant to grab the shotgun and then go through. I pressed the buttons in the wrong order. On the plus side, there's a shotgun at the end of every level thanks to the shopkeepers there. So I will be able to get another one, I will just have to kill the shopkeeper with bombs, or else hopefully he will be dead by the time I get there. No. Bad monk. Bad monk. Monk be gone. No. You! Piece of shit monkey! Steal him a gold! Do not like these monks. Mm. Spikes are a one hit kill. No matter how much health you have. Very deadly, the spikes. I 
now. Piece of shit. Monkey! Now I'm watching this eye so that I can find the black market, and it is right here. Which is another part of hell. I mean, black market is not part of hell, but it might as well be. Uh, hmm. This is a very dangerous situation. Ah, <clears throat> uh, it didn't work. Now this guy is gonna jump over, probably. You know what? I'm gonna hide. Actually, I'm gonna come up here, and then he'll jump over the wall. Probably die to the spikes. Come here. Come here, Mr. Shopkeeper. Jump a little higher. If either I bomb him, or else he does jump over. That's not gonna happen, is it? I'm out of bombs. Well, the black market just got absurdly difficult. I'm just gonna have to pray. This might, this will, is very likely to be the end of the run because the black market is full of shopkeepers and now they're all going to be aggro. And it's dark. And because I was an idiot, I have no, sh I left my shotgun and I have no bombs. So, I am at the mercy of the shopkeepers killing each other. Or I will have to acquire items. These ones seem... Now they seem to have disappeared, but as soon as I go right, I know they're gonna reappear. Because they're assholes like that. Bombs. Oh, they actually did go down. Oh, I'm safe. That's Matic. It's not awful, but not what I need right now. I have I have bombs. So I can actually kill them now. Got that guy bombed. Ooh, no, sir! You can go down right there and stay there. Eat one of those bombs. I want your shotgun. There we go. Fire away. Okay, this went better than expected. I, I did in fact get lucky. Praying worked. Kill those guys, and they're all dead. I don't need the ropes. I'm fine without those. Get that fella, because he's worth gold. Get some shopkeeper money. A bunch of them died down here. Yeah, this could have been way worse. I was fully expecting to die on this level. I got my shotgun, I got a jetpack, I got everything I need. Jetpack can only be used for so long per without landing. So it has finite fuel in that regard, but it does not, like, have a gauge that runs out or anything. It doesn't have a permanent fuel supply. Lots of 
bats. I don't like bats. I hate bats. I hate them. That recoil almost sent me to a tiki trap. Even that's dangerous. Get rid of the shopkeeper, because he's going to be hanging out at the exit over here. And he's done. Problem solved. Stupid monkey! Get some shopkeeper gold, and I'll go save Mr. Damsel while I'm at it. The caveman down there, though. Damn it. <clears throat> that was not worth it, because I lost some health to get the one health. Kiss from a damsel is only worth one extra health. I should've just looked for something to drop on the caveman, would've been easy. Oh, I see, uh... I see an unlockable character. Jack and I did one or two multiplayer streams of this. And we never reached the end together. Turns out, turns out we didn't make much of uh, a, much of an explorer team together. You are a liability. You can die. I unlocked you. I don't need you anymore. And also did a stream with Sandy, who had never played the game before, so you can probably anticipate how that went. Before he does, there we go. I also don't want to send myself into those spikes, and I killed the damsel. It's okay, I'm sorry, damsel. My life was more important. Jetpack and shotgun is the best things to have in this game. Two ropes, you got it. sense of psychic presence. Now, that would be good if I didn't have a jetpack, because that means a jetpack has spawned on this level. Guarded by Mr. Psychic Alien down there. Hello, Mr. Psychic Alien. I don't want to get hit by your Jimmy Neutron brain blasts, so I won't. Just stay on this side of the level instead. There's Mr. Shopkeeper. The alien has employed guard yetis. Goodbye, Mr. Shopkeeper. Shopkeepers are dead. Now, I do... I do need to be on the lookout for the big blue idol head that we saw last time. And I don't think it can spawn on 1-1, one, one, on 3-1. Three, I think that's only 3-2 three, or 3-3. Three, three. Just wanted to be sure, though. Because that is uh, part 3 of the Necronomicon math equation to hell. Title of like a nerd metal song, Formula to Hell. I don't even know what they, if that's a genre, I just invented it. Nerd metal. There he is. There's my there's my head, buddy. That rock could have brained me and got me. Lots of lots of easily overlookable dangers in the world of Spelunky. Just lost my parachute. That's okay. I didn't really need it. Ooh. Shotgun. 
shopkeeper is gone. For some reason. He must have just jumped off. I didn't even hear the uh, music activate. Go ahead and grab this, because why not? No risk to what I'm doing right now. I'll get the damsel, because why not? So, uh, you're actually required to die in order to enter Mr. Tiki Head. It is a very strange formula to get to hell. But uh, one thing that everyone had to cor had correct, it does in fact involve dying. All right. Well, I inherently lost my boot, my uh, shotgun there. There's nothing you can do to bring it with you when dying. I mean, maybe if they buried it with me and a bunch of my organs or something. Ah, oh, what what happened? What hit me? That was strange. So I have no more chances. Do I have the... I do not have the throwing mitt, so... That didn't kill him. No, he just killed himself. I think he took a shotgun with him. I wanted that shotgun. Yeah, I now have no more chances at life. The Ankh is a free resurrection. And you need to use it on the... You need to use it on the Tiki Head level in order to progress in the Hell campaign. Oh good. I wanted that. I didn't want it to fly off the into the abyss. I'd like a shotgun more, but this'll do for now. We got the Independence Day. Aliens level. I mean, I don't want to say it's aliens. But it's aliens. What is... Okay, I, I was stuck. Somehow. Actually, this is always the... Uh... I believe this is always a level. So this isn't... Like, strange or anything. Come on, get blown up. Yeah, give me your shotgun. Where'd it go? I got it! It did not fly off into the abyss. What an inconvenient place to lose your shotgun. In a place where shopkeepers are not liable to survive the pit and get you a new one. I could grind my score a bit by using that, uh, that mattock, the pickaxe, to get some stuff out of the terrain. But I'm not that adventurous. I kind of just want to get to hell. I'm going to have a nice, safe trip to hell. Now, somewhere on this level is Anubis, the god of death. I believe I have that right. Maybe I don't. Oh, no! Oh! Well, that was a bad sequence of events. Glad it's over. Where are you, Anubis? Fuck. No! Blow up, block. There we go. Those things are dangerous. 
Come on. Actually, he's not over here. I don't need to go over here. I'm just on a manhunt for Anubis. That's my only mission. There's firemen. This is going to lead to a shopkeeper. And probably Anubis as well. Yeah, he's over here. Well, the shopkeeper is. Nope, fireman bad. Anubis is definitely over here! Mm. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna bomb my way through. So I have a higher angle of approach. Because coming in from down there is a bad idea. God damn it. It's a waste of a bomb. Blown up shopkeeper. I don't know if that got him. I'm gonna fire until I'm sure. The music is playing, so I think he's still alive. Oh no, he's not. There must be another shopkeeper on this level. In a vault or something. Whew! Excuse me. What a bad place for all these things to be. Just a cramped. Anubis fight in the shopkeeper area. So I needed to kill Anubis to steal his staff, which will again cost me my shotgun. However, this is the fourth key to getting to hell. Whew. That was almost very bad. It is also not to be used. This weapon is extremely deadly, even to the wielder. It's best to just not not touch that uh, not touch that use button while holding it. There we go. There's the the key or the door that I needed. There's ropes. All right. Well. Because I have all of the previously collected things, I have the keys to the City of Gold. I needed the eye, I needed the onk, I needed the headpiece, and I needed the Anubis's scepter. And here it is. It's a whole city made of gold. And everything I bomb will turn to gold. And everything I say will be comedy gold. Oh, that was an arrow trap. I'm glad it was already activated. I didn't even look. Get rid of you. Go down here, because I do not want to deal with that fella. And now, I'm looking for the Necronomicon. Which is right there. Hello, Mr. Necronomicon. I'm just gonna bomb my way to you. How do I want to do it, though? This looks like it's already been activated. That was a good guess. Once I get this, it will activate Red Anubis, who is like Anubis, but red! He will follow you from level to level. Until you kill him. So you really need to kill him. Bomb some more things for some more gold. Even though I'm not going for a super high score, I might as well. Because I'm greedy. I like money. Still, every possibility that I could die. There's still a shopkeeper here in the City of Gold. Trying to avenge his fallen comrades. Ah! I did not see that guy at all. That was scary.
I have 21 bombs. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I don't like it existing. Those are the most dangerous thing in the game, in my opinion. Those fucking crush blocks. I can't stand them. Oh, that's not good. No! Shopkeeper. Well, okay. He died, which is good. I would like to get his shotgun and not kill myself! Okay. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow these up. I'm gonna avoid the ghost. And then I'm gonna rush back over there. I'm gonna grab the shotgun because the tiki traps are gone. I'm gonna get my money. I'm gonna kill the hawk man. And I'm gonna go through the exit. Here we go. Where's the shotgun? Did I walk past it? It's right here. Okay, that's fine. I got the shotgun. Got my money. Got lots of money. And we're good. That was the most sports caster I've sounded in a while. Look at that hall. Pretty, pretty good. Alright. And here is the final boss of, well, level 16. The final regular boss. Original final boss of Spelunky, not HD. The freeware. It is, in fact, Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple. The celebrity himself. I don't know how they got the rights from Nickelodeon. It was uh, not any kind of mythical figure. It's clearly the Nickelodeon character. Camera, not useful. This is also the only level that the ghost doesn't spawn on. So if you really wanted to, you could dawdle as long as you as long as you care to here. So in order to get to hell though, it's a little more complicated than just beating him. I am looking at the book up on the top of the screen spot where it is the most active is where the entrance to hell is. Which is right around here. So instead of having Olmec Bowser his way down, using bombs is much safer. It also consumes a lot of bombs, so... In that way, it's not necessarily ideal, but... I will take the safety, because I don't fuck with Olmec. He is a crushing boss and he will one-shot you. So, again, one of those things where it really doesn't matter how much you, how much health you have in this game. Most stuff just one-shots you. Alright. We have our Olmec hole. It is lubed up. It is ready for Olmec. Come here, Mr. Head Baby Man. Alright, just a little bit to the left! Yeah! You have to stand on his head in order to have a platform to enter the door to hell. After using the Necronomicon to find the location of the door to hell. It's very convoluted if you don't know what you're doing. You pretty much have to look this up. But, we're here. We made it to hell. Enjoy the scenic skull walls. The, uh, Chinese Zhangxi. The giant spike balls of death. 
and uh, various other assorted attractions. Like vampires. Look, Darian, there's a vampire. And there's even a fake-ass Dracula hanging out up here. <clears throat> That's not where I wanted it to go. I'm running low on bombs, and you... Well... I'll survive, but it's good to have bombs in hell. That is Vlad. The spoken of fake-ass Dracula. I'd like to kill him for the journal entry, but if he's going to leave me alone, then I won't bother him. I will vacate Dracula's castle and proceed through the remainder of Hell. There's a lot of spike balls in this particular iteration of Hell. And they are very dangerous, because I believe they also one-shot you. Speaking of uh, it being good to have lots of bombs in Hell, this is not a good Hell scene. This is, this is scary. I do... Okay, Vlad's amulet, the thing that I just went into the castle to get, that grants me immunity from fire and lava. Which, as you can imagine, is very good in hell. <laughs> and I'm dead. It's just that easy. A Zhang Shi has, leech has leached my life energy. Let's try again, I guess. How far did we get? We still don't have the ice cave shortcut. That was going good, and then it just took a couple of, a couple of mistakes in a crowded, spike, death-filled hell. You know that there that can get you if you know, if you're not careful in a spike and death filled hell. I can go over my old Spelunky streams. I started like the first couple for highlights, but the further back you go, especially with my solo streams, the more whispery I was. I don't like listening to my old stream self. I don't like how I sound now. I've been getting dry throat for streams lately. Solo streams, anyway. end up coming down to Olmec anyway, though. Just because I am most definitely not proficient enough to do any kind of specialized Olmec speedrunning tech. Uh, if you're curious, you should look up a Spelunky speedrun, though. Some of the, the stuff they do is pretty incredible. Which can be said for any speedrun, but particularly Spelunky is crazy to watch that just how quickly they blaze through A, a good seed, and B, through Olmec, specifically. Uh, do I want to freeze this man solid? Yes. Oh no, that's right, I pissed them off, I forgot! I forgot I made him mad! 
Oh, I just walked in where I wasn't wanted. Hmm. Do I want to use a bomb to get the throwing mitt? I'm gonna say no, because that's not that good of an item. I kind of would like to get that stuff up there, though. I can get both. And there's stuff down here, too, if I were to use two more bombs. But I only have three bombs, so I don't think I want to do that. Wow, three shopkeepers on this level. You can eat that. Please and thank you. And, okay. So, what happened was, a hole blew up in the wall just as he had finished firing a shotgun shot. Like, frame after. And even though the explosion killed the shopkeeper, it was enough to let his bullets go through the hole in the wall after his death and kill me. There was an achievement for getting a run under a certain time, I recall. I did have to do that for some reason. Actually, you know what? I should uh, I should go out and do the daily challenge. Next time I die, I will uh, back out. See, now that I've said that, I've jinxed dying, and will therefore have a successful run. Oh, hello. Oh, get some treasure, get a damsel. Oh, I did not see that. That's okay, I had a meat shield. Okay, so the dog entered the entered the level exit in time for me to take the hit. And the only thing I have to kill this guy with is the machete. So whack whack whack. Machete generally not worth carrying around because then you're using up your one carrying slot for just somewhat more powerful melee attack. It would be so much better if it replaced the whip. Derek, you, take notes. Also, hello. I enjoy your game. Eric you one of the devs I recently found out. Well, I knew that, uh, I knew that Igarashi, the Castlevania fella, made Mario Maker levels, or at least a level, because he was a top creator on Mario Maker in-game for a little while. I only recently found out that Derek Yu, the Spelunky dev, also made at least one Mario Maker level. Maybe I'll find those levels and do them in a, like a Mario Maker stream. I've been thinking about doing more uh, Smash, more Mario Maker. Just as kind of filler streams. 
Because I got Tack. I got that uh, Rayman mod remake. Fan remake, really. I think that's what it is. I got a few things lined up. But I haven't felt a whole lot like doing any of them just yet, so... We'll see what Thursday brings. I didn't, I didn't end up doing any solo streams at all last week. I just, I wasn't feeling it. See a shot down here. One down. Oh, the key's on this level. I wasn't even thinking about that. Where's my head? Oh, he's not going to get hit by that. Of course he's not. Go on. Go down. There we go. Climbing gloves, and now I have 11 bombs to try to find the key on this level. This... I guess this is as good, a re a good as a an occasion as any to use the teleporter. And I found the key. Great. And just into the wall. Some RNG the teleporter. As I understand. Maybe I'm full of shit. Main menu, that's what I want, not exit. Alright, so I'm gonna do the daily challenge. I'll use Mr. Ogre here. Mr. Ogre Clops. So this is the seed that everyone in the game has today. And I'm gonna see how I do going for score. Which is to say gold. bats immediately because they can uh, they can mess it up if you don't they are not to be underestimated I'm gonna be a little more uh, a little more methodical try to make sure I get everything because the leaderboards for the daily challenge are by gold sure that I get as much as possible. As much as reasonable. So it would take two bombs to get in there for a damsel. I'm gonna save the bombs. I think the bombs will be more valuable later. Over here. There's an altar. There's a giant spider that I would like to kill for his sticky paste. Get that sticky spider goo.
unfortunately time is not factored into the daily high scores. I think it's recorded, but it's not, uh, it's not ranked based on that. I hear you. I also see a weapon shop. I need something to drop. And I might I think I used up all of my droppables. So, I guess I'm not going down that way. This better not hurt the shopkeeper. This better not trigger him. It did. Well. Hmm. That ruined the run. Die. Die, shopkeeper. Somehow I did that. I took a piece of damage for it, and I lost my damsel. But I survived. I bet a lot of people didn't. I bet a lot of people did what I just did. Activated that arrow trap and got the, got the shopkeeper aggroed for it. There's an altar if I can find another damsel, which speak of the devil. And I got sticky paste. So, just go ahead and drop her down. Yeah, drop her down. That didn't sound like the Wurzels at all. Check out over here. I have not yet seen the key and chest that I need. Get some spike shoes. a lot of things. And the spikes. Ooh, that was that's a death room for newbies. That's a new a noob killer room. A little extra 100 gold. Somehow didn't take damage from that. Another close call. Uh, I guess I'll spend the ropes. Ropes aren't that valuable. Just waiting for me to say that and regret it when it turns out there's no jetpacks, no any kind of mobility items in this seed. chest. I definitely don't want to get the... I don't want to get the idol immediately. Because that'll summon the boulder. And, uh, that boulder will quite likely destroy the chest. And that would be bad. That would... that would ruin my chances of a hell run. sure we get the contents of this chest before anything else. And then if I have the rope, or any other kind of mobility tool, I would like to go back up for that idol. That might not happen, though.
fact, that's looking like it probably won't happen. I will have to get quite lucky indeed with the mobility in order to get all the way back up there. That's not even considering the ghost, which I've now already almost two minutes. Damn it, spider. Being thorough has its downsides. I'd like the damsel too, that might be pushing it. In fact, it's definitely pushing it, but I'm gonna push it. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. Alright, you're not going anywhere, damsel. Uh, ghost is coming. Die, Mr. Shopkeeper. You gotta go down. I need your music to end. All right, shopkeeper is dead. I am probably not going to get the damsel. I can get this fella and get his treasure. And get the shopkeeper gold. And that's all I have time for, folks. Now, the people who are going to dominate these, and the high scores in general are going to be doing ghost running, which is when you get all the jewels in a level, or as many as you can, showing, you let the ghost appear, and when the ghost passes over a large jewel, it transforms it into a diamond, which is very valuable. The ghost has magical jewel transforming properties. So if you play super evil Knievel Dangerous and lure the ghost all over the level, you can rake in a very high score. Ah, uh, what's down here? Down here is an idol and a lot of cramped places that I don't really want to go into. Black Market. It's on this level. And the entrance is on this level. But where is it down? get as much treasure in this level as I can before I leave. There's a shop down there. It's got some nice bombs and things. Also be very risky to go down there, though. It'd be a little bit safer if I come from this side. And I'm gonna play risky, because I want that, uh, I want that score. I want to show the world that I'm the very best, like no one ever was. He's coming at me with a freeze ray. You get out of here with that. Ooh, that's death for me. Rip me. GG. The other shopkeeper's body blocked the projectiles. Blocked the, the bullets. Which happens. I kind of figured it would happen. I just I couldn't fire again fast enough. I couldn't. The stars didn't align. Let's see how I did. 90 of the people who have played this so far today. 2-1 is not very far. I was, I was on, I was on a, a, good, a good streak. I was being Thoru. I just, you know, died. Fastest time. Still Jaws. Monk. Jack Anderson. I guess Jack didn't play this much. 
high scores. 5,635 in the world. All-time daily high scores. My highest was 6589. I guess I have a fella named Stilljaws on my friends list who's apparently the king of the friend list. Quite good at Spelunky. Alright. We're not quite at two hours, but that's okay. I don't think I need to start another run. I've gotten my fill of Spelunky. It'll be a little bit of a shorter stream today. I didn't plan for it to be too long. And again, I would have liked to do Death Roulette, but uh, sadly, it is not functioning. So I will not be able to do that until either another version comes out, or maybe a Spelunky 2 version comes out, or maybe there's Twitch stuff in Spelunky 2 which I would be very cool with. I would like that greatly. Also, if it's on Steam, I hope it's on Steam. But uh, expect me to play a lot of that when it comes out, if it's on Steam. And in the meantime, I will probably see you Thursday. Thanks for watching.